hooks and the lead are pretty simple here for the sturgeon fishery. Uh, you can go ahead and take a, a, a five, six, seven aught, just standard barbless hook on the anchovies. These are pretty nice sized ones. I like to do two at a time. Okay, I'll take my hook. I like going through the eyeball on the first one and then on the second one. Now I take this egg loop knot that I created there and I showed you. I'm gonna go through both, around both fish. I pull it down tight against the, the shank like so. I'm gonna take an egg loop knot. I'm gonna go half inch around the bait and a half inch again. And then again, what I'm doing here is I'm kind of sewing up these fish. They lay nice and straight. So you see that this offering is laying nice and straight there. Okay, these half inches hold it. The hook is at the head. So when that fish comes and sucks up that bait, he sucks up that hook. When you go to yank, you yank that hook right into his mouth. The other type of bait down here that we use most, most of the time is a sand shrimp. Now there's several ways you can rig this up on your line and your hook. Personally, I like doing it just a one certain way. Uh, I like it kind of being the bait's closest to the hook as possible. So when these fish do pick these, this bait up, I want that hook inside their mouth. So plenty of ways to do this. This is not the only way to do it, but what I like to do is I take a small bait, and I'll kind of crease them like so. I'm gonna run this hook right through, right through his tail. I'm gonna run that one up there. I'm gonna take my next bait. I'm gonna go through the tail again. And then I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna put the hook through its head. What I've done here is I've kind of added some mass, quite a bit of scent here, quite a bit of bait. I've got everything pretty close to the point. So when that fish goes to suck up this bait, that hook will be right there and we'll hook him right away in the mouth.